India is all set to jump into the budget session. Uh, our current finance minister, Nirmala Sitharaman, is all set to present the budget on the 1st of February 2024. And this budget will be the last as a current term. And it will be different from the last few budgets that she has presented because it is an interim budget or a vote of account. Now, what makes this budget very different and what makes this budget extremely relevant for investors is that this budget, because we are also going to enter in the election period in April to May, will take into account only the expenditure up until that period of time. And also because it is a vote of account, what comes into picture is that uh, the budget session is going to be uh, passed or kind of approved in the Lok Sabha uh, space also. Uh, now, looking at this particular budget, if you compare it with, say, FY20, where the budget capital expenditure was in the tune of about 26.9 lakh crores, the expenditure has increased marginally to almost uh, about 46 odd uh, lakh crores. And uh, this is also owing to the increase in the tax collection that we have seen, uh, you know, kind of jump up on a month on month on a quarter on quarter basis. So while this budget is a vote of account, that means that the government will not be able to uh, do any major changes in capital gains or even your personal taxes, because uh, again, there is a government change uh, or an election that is tuned to happen on uh, you know, the next couple of months. Uh, but that does not mean that the budget is going to, uh, you know, not have any major policy changes. Uh, the tune of the budget will be somewhere on the populist side uh, is, is the major factor that we are looking at. Uh, a few sectors in focus would be your rural development, uh, infra hospitality, which you have seen uh, the government, you know, currently even focusing on uh, tourism, real estate and railways and defense. So while we are not seeing anything at a personal capital gains level or taxation level, a uh, few key sectors that may be impacted with the session that's being held on the 1st of February would be, uh, you know, your uh, railway, rural development, infrastructure and such. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.